Hello everybody. Today we're going to look at Adobe's new generative AI feature in Photoshop. We're going to learn how to install the beta version of Photoshop that has the tool and how to use the generative AI feature with some examples. So without further ado, let's start designing. First off, we want to download the beta version of Photoshop because as of right now, it's the only app in the Adobe Creative Suite that has the generative tool. To do that, we want to open up Creative Cloud as we have here, and we want to go to beta apps down here. From here, we can hit install on Photoshop beta. And once this is installed, we can launch it and start playing with the new tool. Once Photoshop beta is downloaded, we can go ahead and open it up. And I'm going to start with a sample image of this road that I'm going to click and drag into my Photoshop app. And it's very easy to use the new generative tool. It's as simple as selecting your marquee tool, going over the area where you want to generate a design or uh, an image within this image and click that generate a fill area in there and just type in what you want to add. So I want a sports car on this road. I'm going to type that in and hit generate and we'll see what it comes up with. There we go. Looks like it generated a couple cars for us. Now it's going to give you a couple options to choose from. Usually one of them will be a little better than the rest. I like this one. Now, obviously this is still in beta, so it's not as polished as it could be, but I think it does a pretty good job considering we're adding images onto an existing image. So what we could do, for example, to make this blend a little better is we can adjust the levels on this to kind of make everything blend in a little better like so and then maybe we could add a filter on this for motion blur to kind of make it seem like it's moving and is part of the picture let's do that and then we're seeing some blurriness on the road here which we can fix by removing this part of the mask like so and over here as well and there you have it there's our car on the road here's another example that we could use i have this image of a runway and i'd like to add in an airplane into this picture so I'll set my marquee tool to the middle of this runway here, hit that generate a fill and I'll type in airplane back view. Now let's see what that gives us. Okay. So this is not what I was expecting. This is clearly not a back view of an airplane. Let's see if these others are a little better. Okay. This looks a little better but it kind of messed up the runway and it kind of messed up the airplane in here. So again, it's not completely polished at this point. You could play around with it to kind of make it work by unmasking here. That looks a little better. Still looks a little messed up, especially the airplane over here and the wings, but I think we can still do a lot of cool things with this tool. And there you have it. That was how to install Photoshop beta and test out the new generative AI tool within Photoshop. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more similar content. And let me know in the comments how you've been playing around with the new tool in Photoshop. It's been Jan Design, and I'll see you in the next one.